Congratulations to Terry. Unified, I suppose. World champion. I know some people, when you win an IBO world title, it's like, we're world champion, yeah, but, you know, it's the IBO. And the IBO do a great job. But now, she's also the first English woman to ever win the WBC world title as well. So, solidified world champion and a unified world champion. And now, for all the belts. So, over to your questions for Terry and the team. Um, I don't, it's not sunken, and I don't. It'll not sink in for a good few weeks. Um, tomorrow morning I'll wake up and I'll be like, "Has that just happened?" But I feel good, and I f like 11 weeks of hard work. I've missed out on Christmas, I missed out on a lot of stuff, sacrificed a lot of stuff, and, and it's all paid off. And so has Andrew. He sacrificed his Christmas. We were in gym Christmas Day, Boxing Day, New Year's Day. Um, but it, it's worth it, and it's paid off. So I'm happy. What does it feel like with those belts there on that table, looking at them now? Amazing. Um, this one's going to bed with me tonight. That's borrowed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have to give the other one back. You get sent yours on Monday. Yeah. It'll be a nice, it'll be laid outside of me. Would you say Eva Walsh was your toughest test today? Yeah, definitely. Um, she's, she's a good champion, obviously, five years. Um, reigning champion, she's defended the belt how many times? Six, six mm. times. Six time. defences. And... Um, it was a tough test and it was a good learning fight for me. I got caught, I got um, buzzed, um, I had to keep myself uh, composed, not let the crowd get on top. Um, but I felt good, it was, it was a good win, I enjoyed it. Steph, how, how hard did you pre for preparation for this fight? How hard did you have to win, wasn't it? Uh, well, you've got, <coughs> as a coach and at this level, you've got to be as dedicated as a fighter is. So. You know, I want it as much as her. I, I, t today, I've, I've completed something for myself because I won an IBF world title with Jamie McDonnell and I've won an IBF uh, WBC, two genuine world titles. We're just from a, a, a town, we're not in a city. So I'm quite proud of myself and pinching myself because I'm now as much as I know people, sometimes if you don't pack, you send up back, nobody ever will. But so I've, I've made a bit of history myself tonight by winning a, a world title with a male and a female. So I'm very proud of that. But by, yeah, I mean, I give as many hours as these do. And it's a special thing, the story that, do you know what nobody sees for 12 months? I've badgered Eddie with direct messages. I've got this girl, Eddie, she's special. And he just used to say, I'll put her on my show, keep her winning while I have a look at her. And, uh, He's, he's, he's shared the same vision and the same dream as, as I have. And so tonight, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, we've, we've created a lot of history. And this is just the start. This is a 23 year, you can sit and listen to her talk now. This is a 23 year old baby. She's had 16 amateur fights as a kid. Not boxed for four years until I brung her back. That were a temp fight. You're telling me how good she was. It's hard for me in corner. I'll watch it back and I'm just like overwhelmed to be a part of this journey because I think we've got some. We've got the real million dollar uh, baby here, that's what I believe, and, and I think we've got the biggest platform in the world backing us, and I think the world's his oyster. Terry, she said uh, she'd been boxing 23 years, she got 23 years of age. Did you feel the difference, even though you won, did you feel the experience that she, she had? Yeah, definitely, a uh, very tactical fighter, um, drawing me on and catching me out, which she did a good few times. So, I, I've got a lot to learn, and I know that we're not daft, we're not gonna run before we can walk. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed sharing the ring with someone so experienced and it was an honour. You've got some following as well, so... Amazing. It's fine, it's only going to get bigger and bigger, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, Will she get a blue tick on uh, social media? Got to, got to, <laughs> got to. We'll have to have a get on that. <laughs> yeah. I just think like it's just a case of where she can... But I mean, there's so many boxes to tick. Like You, you get to this stage and it's so exciting because in boxing now, a lot of people are earning a lot of money who commercially don't actually deserve it but they get to world champion level and like they're not putting bums on seats people aren't tuning in to watch but there's like a market rate and I always have this chat with Katie Taylor who sort of says well don't you think I'm more appealing than that man who's making that kind of money yeah. and I say to her yes but actually because you're a woman we're playing catch up you know so where we've come over the last two years is incredible, but we're still not at parity level with the men. And I think if you're good enough, and if you sell, and if people want to tune in, and if you put bums on seats, you should be at parity level. 
it's not a charity where you just say, oh, well, let's just give female fighters the same money as men. It's irrelevant what sex they are. It's about the commercial draw power. She sold 700 tickets a night out of her hand. She could have sold 1,000 plus. 703. 703. <laughs> I've got to give her a bonus for that. She'll have plenty of yes, bonuses. But, but, it's bonus. like, but, but where it's so exciting is sometimes people in sport, the talent generally, <clears throat> become very spoiled. And one day, Terry might become spoiled. But right now... She's not even been remotely spoiled. And it's so exciting to give her things and opportunities to see what it means to her and how grateful people are and how much they enjoy the opportunities. So when she's, during the fight in the eighth or ninth round, I'm thinking, right, we're going to unify. I'm thinking about the other, the other champions. Then I'm thinking about, do we go Doncaster Dome for a next gen? It's actually probably a little bit small. You know, how far away are we from actually headlining a Saturday night fight night? You know, Katie Taylor was the first woman to do that recently. She can go on any pay-per-view card that she wants now with that following, not just now ticket following, but the general following. She's more than welcome to take a fight in America anytime she wants as well. But like, these are so many boxes to tick, and it's so exciting that she's going to get the opportunity to do it. And I think tonight, honestly, I only think you saw about 40, 50 percent of Terry Harper. Honestly, like I think there's so much I, more I, I, to come. I, I see a lot of things in gym that nobody sees. Obviously, we, we've got his own gym, but that were like. Like Eddie's just said that it really, really, I was I, I were like trying to convince her to go up the gears, but she felt she would win. I'm saying, go and have some fun now, be adventurous, go and set about her. But she felt comfortable. She, Liz, it was a big occasion for a 23, the maturity she showed, just cause she were happy to be winning and winning comfortable. She will never rattle, she will never out in any gear. It, does anybody agree how easy did that fight look? That were a 23, like I keep repeating myself, but Eva's been a great champion. She's only lost to Katie Upperweight, never been beat at Super Featherweight, and a 16 fight amateur novice, and only nine fights. It's like, you know, it's like you said, the market's unbelievable. So that, was that good enough to be a main event? Does anybody think yeah. the atmosphere? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, yeah. and this is where we're leading at. And we, mm. like you said, we've got the biggest platform for back in us. It's unbelievable. It's like it's just where we do it. Yeah, exactly. Doncaster Rovers. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I think we could. Yeah, we could yeah, sell Doncaster yeah, Rovers yeah, in yeah, summer. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good, you know. All right. That's a good yeah. Calm down, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> She needs a passport, you know. <laughs> <laughs> We've never been out of Doncaster. Terry, it was about, I think, about five, we've seen her, you know, pulling up back to a corner, and she was puffing a lot, like, really being on. Do you think you uh, got the measure of it there, and then if you knew that I could push this fight and put the way I want it and control it? Um, my fitness, and I, I, I've, I've got a lot of trust in my fitness. I, I train hard. Um, I'm coming back to the corners, and Andrew's like, you're not even blowing. Step it up. Um, but I just felt comfortable in the fight. I didn't want to, didn't want to do out daft. Um, obviously, she caught me a few times, so I was taking it steady. But yeah, I've definitely got them gears in me, and I can, I could slip it up. And obviously, watching Eva, we saw that she, she, she tires a lot in the later rounds, and I saw that, and I could have stepped it up. But like I said, I didn't want to do out daft. I wanted to get the win, and um, yeah, it's a learning fight. Looking forward now, have you got any, you know, plans? Yeah, what do you want to do? I'd like to fight you a Brodnick if WBO, but mm. I doubt she'll come out of pole and it looks like she keeps I think um, Terry's going to probably have to fight her rather than you, Steffi. Do you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> We'll and she'll beat you. Yeah, you're not wrong, she does. Well, yeah, what would you like to do, Teddy? I don't know. Do you want to defend? Do you want to unify I'm, I'm again? Or, I mean, look, well, you're only young, aren't you? Yeah. Tell Eddie what's your dream. What do you I want feel to like this is an open to? meeting, really. Yeah, you know, is, well, this is good. It's yeah. bonding. What have you said that you'd love to do with your dream? America. Yeah. Michaela yeah. Myers, a big fight. This is a young girl, just, you know. And Ever Hardy. Yeah. Everard is a massive yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. How exciting would that be? Everard is mm. a big name in America, got a big following, uh, well respected, only lost one fight to uh, Serrano. Mm. That'd be a great fight to defend against Everard. Anybody have fancy watching that fight? Mm. So, yeah, there's, there's, there's. We haven't talked about it's it. It's a great division. Mm. It's a great division. I've just got a question for Andrew. Um, I love seeing you when I'm taking pictures of you in the corner. <laughs> and one of your quotes tonight on a couple of big right hands landing was. All night long, Lionel Richie. Yeah. Just shouting that. Just, just, well, she understands. Just keep keep doing what she's doing all night long. One two, keep it on Lionel Richie in it all night long. That's right, yeah. <laughs> if you've ever seen Steph in the corner, you've only got to throw a punch, and he goes, oh, oh. A couple of times, I think Where? she was going to look down and go, shut up, you missed. Terry, can I just ask you, well, in, in 
terms of when you fought at Magna, and then obviously Manchester last time out, this one, obviously the roof is coming up in there. Are you aware of that when you're in the ring, or are you completely focused on what you're doing and switch that off? Uh, a, a bit of both, really. Um, obviously walking I can hear everyone but I'm just fully focused on what I need to do uh, it's, it's important not to get distracted by a crowd and not to get carried away when they start cheering um, but yeah I felt the energy um, and I enjoyed it and are you aware of the general crowd oh god I can't. <laughs> Andrew was showing me a video of her dancing this. Uh, <laughs> she was getting the crowd yeah, yeah. oh god <laughs> I apologise do you suppose feel vindicated in one of you Terry coming back to the sport and Andrew you pushing you to come back to the two belts just out there? Uh, well it, when 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 we had Terry from a little girl, I always said how special she was. When, when we're in the gym and, and we're training and Paul Juros, I'll just give Paul Juros a shout out to our amateur coach. He'd done a fantastic job with Terry. We were all heartbroken when she had just decided to walk away. She was only sixteen, peer pressure of uh, school education in the last year doing exams and things and even back then I she were up with me at six o'clock in the morning running before school and it's a lot for a 16 year old kid she just got a silver medal boxing for England at Europeans and we what we'd got an email from uh, GB saying if she, she went to another tournament and if she'd have medaled they were going to take her on so you can see that the quality that Terry has she's an a, a Olympic kind of class for, if you're comparing it with amateurs but when she just literally walked away, we were all devastated. Even her dad used to offer her £20 every time she came to the gym. So I think she used to take the £20, come to the gym, didn't train, and then, and then bugger off kind of thing. So it means a lot to me because obviously uh, I've always had a good relationship with Matt when Eddie through Gavin McDonald and working with twins and always had uh, opportunities when my fighters have always been well looked after. And when Katie come on the scene and you could see where the, being a promoter myself, I'm not an idiot, I know the game, I, I promote regularly, you could see where the market were leading and I think uh, Katie had only had a few fights and I'd be just be sat there and just all I could think about with Terry, Terry, just imagine what we could have done with Terry and you don't get anywhere without asking and it was just a ping, sent her a message and literally straight back, it's unbelievable you've sent that, I've been thinking about boxing for a long time, that were on a Saturday night, we met on the Monday, we got she's got that much trust. We didn't talk monies, we didn't talk anything. She had a complete trust in me. We put a net and we've got a contract, put a picture on Facebook. South Yorkshire's first professional fighter that was two years ago. And we sat here with Terry on biggest platform supporting us as a unified people can say what they want about IBO. We were very proud about that. We did it on his own. The sanction fees are no difference or anything else. Uh, I was trying to get opponents, they were knocking back, they won't just let us fight anyone. To us, that, that, that's a world title for us. So to go and do this tonight on the biggest platform, we, we in the two year span that we've done everything, it's just a roller coaster. Like I say, 23 year old, I think Eddie's got the same vision that I've got with Terry, and this is just the start. Tonight is the start. It's amazing where women's boxing, I mean, I just, I don't know, go back to it, but you know, when you think about. When I when I first had a meeting with Katie, I just thought I just do it out of respect. But there's you know, and, and obviously women's sports become more and more prominent with broadcasters. But you know, although she's a pioneer, you have to also talk about Clarissa Shields, Amanda Serrano, even Heather Hardy. You know yeah. those kind of yeah. girls. And now on the English scene, you know you've got Natasha Jonas didn't quite make it, but still going. You know you've got obviously Terry's flying now. Big announcement coming on Tuesday for Savannah Marshall. She's going to be fighting for a world title in Newcastle on April the 4th. Um, it's amazing, you know, Nicola Adams is retired, but like, it's just, and, and you know, the good fighters, it's not just like a token, oh, let's just put a women's fight on and hopefully we can get work. They're the proper quality fighters, quality fighters. What do you think about three minute rounds? Uh, well, you get paid more. <laughs> I, I, I like two minute rounds. Yeah. Because I don't think you'll see as many stoppages, but no. I just think it's fast the, the pace, pace is fast good. Yeah, action. the pace is good, you know? yeah. You want to do three minute rounds or not? I don't think we didn't answer the question. Man. I'm happy to do whatever. I, I just do what I, I do what I'm told. I'm happy. <laughs> I like two minute rounds. I don't think I could cope with three minutes of stress. Know, Guys, what about that? Round of applause. New WBC RBO. <laughs>